Welcome to Scooby-Doo, uh, Night of a Hundred Frights. This game is awesomely bad. Um, it's a guilty pleasure game of mine. Um, it's, you'll see very soon that it's not a very good game, and uh, you'll see very soon that it is a very fun game. And uh, I'm excited to play this one. It's a good one. Um, I played it about a year ago, and uh, it's really enjoyable. And I actually remember getting this game for my 10th birthday, so, you know, uh, it's been 11 years since I played this game, like, or like, when I got this game. That's weird to think about. 11 years ago. Man. Time flies by, but, uh, this is my official call for a remake of Scooby-Doo Night of a Hundred Frights. Um, if you have the, um, resources to make that happen, I would love to have that happen. I would purchase that game in a heartbeat. So, Night of a Hundred Frights remake, anyone? Anyone? Me? I'm excited. Um, character models would be the first thing uh, worth smoothing out. See, look. Fred, stop! Ah! Wow, they got out of the car fast. <laughs> Call this game. And Scooby Doo. She like gets all their names wrong. All right, so you're uh, Daphne and Scooby Doo and Velma, and you must be Shaggy. It's like, um, no, not even close. Really? Way to go, Fred. Never heard of him. Ooh, her hair is very smooth. Like, I bet it's really soft. I'd totally be down to like. I don't know. Rub it. <laughs> I was gonna say rub her hair, but then I was like, that sounds really, really weird. But like, think of like Zombie Land. Like, I just want to like push a girl's hair behind her ear, and it's like, oh, that's actually kind of cute. Um, that's what I'd like to do to Holly's soft-looking hair. I ain't afraid of no ghosts. Yeah. Self-aware humor. I like it. Woohoo! That sounds like the best plan ever. <laughs> yeah! That all rhymed. That was pretty impressive. Bye! Goodbye now! Uh-oh. Wow, his elbows. <laughs> And his nose, oh my gosh, Shaggy's nose is massive. Is it always that big? Like, oh my gosh. <laughs> I love it. They're like, so massive. Probably because you're right by the ocean. Um, there's literally a dock right behind Scooby-Doo. Gee. <laughs> uh oh. I like the self aware humor. It's fun. It's like, yeah, they, they get it. <laughs> oh no. No, you're not alone when you have the Lord on your side, Scooby Doo. It's so silly. Okay, so we need to go to the playground so Don Knotts can teach us how to play the game. And if you don't know who Don Knotts is, makes sense. He was an actor back in like the 1820s or something like that, and uh, he was pretty silly. What's up, Don Knotts? How's it going, dude? Oh, he's not going to talk. Hello, Scooby-Doo. I'll give you some tips on some of the things you can find around Mystic Manor. Make tracks, Scooby-Doo. You can run fast by holding R1 while moving and press X to jump. Thanks. Um, okay, and then these little magnifying glasses will tell us how to play the game. Pretty much telling us uh, da -da 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 -da, things and stuff. Cool. Um, so, oh, I messed it up. Okay, we'll wait for those to come back. If they come back. Ooh, crap. <laughs> Messed up that jump, and uh, that really ruined everything. Um, cool. So, we need to collect Scooby Snacks. Um, there's these things called Snack Gates that are hanging around. And um, you need a certain amount of Scooby Snacks to uh, activate them so you can access different areas. And um, so we need uh, to get as many of them as we can. Um and every Scooby Snack counts, um, especially later on in the game. Um, when you get to like the final boss, it's like, you need 400 Scooby Snacks. And uh, you end up not being prepared somehow. Um, 
I was really annoyed because, um, so there's only a certain amount of Scooby Snacks in the game. It's not like they're unlimited, and they don't respawn at all. Like, once you collect them, you've collected them. And, uh, last year when I was playing this, I was playing it with my buddy, and, well, he started playing it with my buddy, but then his girlfriend came over for the weekend, and then I just spent the whole weekend playing the game all by myself. Um, and, um, so there's these tokens a monster token that's what they're called and um if you collect one of those there's a specific area in the game and um you can go and view character models of the monsters and but you need to pay like 150 uh scooby snacks to get in there and at the end of the game guess how many scooby snacks i needed to enter the bad guys final layer yeah, 150. <laughs> it was fine. I just had to put a little bit more work to go back through the levels and scrounge for Scooby Snacks. It was quite tedious, um, but I I got it, so we get we're good. Okay, Scooby Doo. All right, cool. We cleared out that playground. Now we can head into the house and see what awaits us. Probably adventure and mystery, right? Wrong. I don't know, there's a lot going on in that house, so we'll figure it out. Snack gate. Bump it um. Snack gate unlocked. I liked the floor mat. I kinda was really quick on it, but uh the floor mat said go away. And then when you go in here, the floor mat said I said go away. But there's supposed to be a comma after the I said part. See? I said comma go away. Hi. That's good. But I can't help you. I'm too busy. Oh, that was inconvenient timing. Okay. One moment, Holly. I am coming to save you. Once I click this key. Okay, we need the springs. And uh, we can't get the springs for a moment. Whoa. Scooby-Doo, I'm so glad you found me. Oh. Okay, now you're talking. It was so crazy. Well, mystery solved. We can go home. Oh, no. Wow, you sound so disturbed. There's not like there's an entire house. Thanks. Access the map from the pause menu. Cool. Thanks, Holly. Bye. Okay. Oh, wait. There's some Scooby Snacks. Oh, well, we'll be coming back here in a bit. Um, so we'll leave those Scooby Snacks for now. All right. Don Knotts, what do you got for us now? Hi. Be oh, I was gonna read it, but then he started talking. Well, so am I. Well, and you're really helpful. Thank you. I'm pretty sure yeah. It's buried around here somewhere. Okay. You'll need a shovel. <laughs> Just like my wife. Okay. <laughs> God damn it. Whoa. Damn. Very demanding. Power up. Woohoo! Buried treasure, meaning this key to my heart. The grass is always greener on the other side. Yeah. You're messing up my lawn. Wow, he's a very rude groundskeeper. Not gonna lie. Shock on the dock. Yeah. So if you notice, like all the little different places have like fun little names. So like shock on the dock and clamor in the manor. Hi. What do you have to say this time? You again, eh? Well, this is a fishing village. Be careful not to fall in the water. Should be pretty obvious, but just in case, I'll say it so oh, that. Aw, nuts. Oh, nuts. Alright. This is a little too easy at the moment. This game gets, like, weirdly hard at one point, and, like, not in, like, a bad way, but it's, like, different, where you're like, wow, this got weirdly hard. Um, overall, it's not, like, a hard game, I wouldn't say, but, like, Man, it gets like weirdly hard, and you're like, this is difficult. Um, oh, I walked right into that one. That was my fault. I'm sorry. Um, man, I remember playing this game like forever ago. I remember I had this one buddy of mine, and I'd, I'd go over to his house and we'd play it. Um, but he was a lot better at it than I was. Um, and so, like, he was further along in the game than I think I ever got, except for last year when I beat it. <laughs> um, Oh, what? What was up there? Oh, there's a rat. Gotcha. I was like, what the hell was that? Okay. Uh, jump. 
jump. Got it. Bam. Cool. Alright, well, uh, we will call this an episode, and I uh, will go through this door. And uh, we'll catch you guys next time on Game Food Thoughts. Thanks for watching.